Hey everybody! Today we'll learn how to create a cartoon style lecture. It's a lot easier than it sounds. You don't need fancy video editing skills. Just a presentation tool like PowerPoint or Keynote. You can start with the title slide. The rest is like an old fashioned flipbook. You just draw each keyframe and connect them together with animations like this. When you're done, you add a voiceover and you export it as a movie. The first step is coming up with your elevator pitch. Suppose you find yourself in an elevator with Steven Spielberg. You have 90 seconds to pitch your cartoon idea. What would you say? This is something you'll need to work out to get right. It's got to be creative and exciting. Now you could write your script. This is the text for your voiceover and include all of the animations and demonstrations you'll show. It's this step that really makes the cartoon come together. Be sure and time it. It should be around five minutes. There's a good chance it will be too long. And it's easier to cut material now than to create a lot of animations that you don't have time to include. Once you have a script, you can create your cartoon. We'll use keyframing, a classic animation technique, where you first draw the keyframes and later interpolate in-betweens. Just draw your figure, duplicate the slide, and move things where you want them to go. Now use the Magic Move transition in Keynote. It generates the animation for you. This is called Morph if you're using PowerPoint. Sometimes rotations don't interpolate quite right. By default, objects rotate about their centers. If you don't want this, you can move the center by adding invisible parts to each object. Now it rotates correctly. You can do all sorts of amazing effects with Magic Move. From explaining lenses, to shears, to moiré patterns. Wipes are really useful for tracing rays like for reflections and projections. And fades are good for just about everything else, like drawing this B-spline curve. Occasionally, throwing in a fancier effect can be fun, but it gets old fast. You probably don't want more than four or five of these per cartoon. Most slides should have a half second transition between them and use a half second for most animations as well. Some may be longer, but this is a good default. Now some demos require a bit more work. You may want to include photos or videos. Or create animations programmatically in Python. Or Unity. You can export these as videos and include them in your slide deck. You should also make sure that your slides look good. Rule number one is to keep things simple. Remove anything that doesn't absolutely have to be on your slide. Rule number two, use high contrast. Dark objects on a white background are good. Avoid saturated color backgrounds like this. Rule number three is that the viewer can only attend to one thing at a time. For example, this slide is way too complicated, but it works if you introduce one element at a time with the appropriate narration. Rule number four is to have a consistent style. Use the same fonts, colors, backgrounds, and animations throughout the cartoon. This is especially important when you have two or more people working on your cartoon. Finally, let's talk about the voiceover narration. You can copy and paste parts of your script into each slide's notes field. Practice it so you can speak smoothly and naturally as you queue up the different animations. I like to add a blank line for each key press transition. Once you're ready, you can lay down the voice track. Hey everybody, today we'll learn how to create a cartoon style lecture. 
You may have to practice a few times to get the cut you're happy with, and then export as a video. I hope you've enjoyed this cartoon on how to create cartoons.